Hello, welcome to my first video update about one of the projects that I'm working on using C Sharp and the XNA framework. I've been setting up the basics of the game engine to be used in a third person Xbox Live indie games title. To begin with, on the screen here, we have multiple cubes and planes being drawn from my model actor class. Centered on the screen at the moment is the player class that also derives from model actor. The player can be selected and uh, moved around using the WASD keys using some simple uh, rotation and translation. Uh, the view is controlled using the camera manager. The camera manager has two cameras right now, the orbital chase camera and the debug camera. The chase camera focuses on the player and follows it around, and by holding down the left mouse button, I can rotate around the player within some constraints. Holding down the right mouse button um, also rotates the camera and rotates the player with it. Uh, the side of the camera is used in a lot of third-person RPGs. I want to replicate its sort of functionality. Um, the engine also has a screen manager that handles game screens as a stack. I can bring up the uh, debug screen right now to switch the camera over to the debug camera. Uh, the debug camera exists as a free roaming camera, and I can print this information here using uh, the debug manager as well. So I can increase the speed so I can really get a quick view of the entire scene. Uh, the debug manager also um, allows me to print messages on the screen such as the number of actors being drawn, the frames per second, and also lets me do a debug draw of the quad tree. Uh, the scene is set up using a quad tree where each node contains a maximum of five objects, and if this limit is exceeded, it subdivides itself into four more nodes uh, to enforce the idea that each node has five objects. Um, so my debug screen also has a couple more options. I can add actors to the scene based on the camera's uh, location facing. So I can add a cube, and um, as well I could add a plane. Uh, as well I can select an object and delete it. Also I have access to some scene management. So by going into scene save and load, I can save the scene, uh, clear the scene, and load it back up. Uh, this all uses XML serialization and saves it to a uh, zone file. So, thanks for reviewing my update. Uh, with all the engine basics set up, I'm looking to, uh, first off, make a switch from axis align bounding box to some collision message me meshes for the model actors on the screen and set up some basic collision and some physics. And afterwards, I'll actually get started with some real gameplay. Thanks a lot.